we are concluding a series of messages that have, has basically been an exploration into the idea of spiritual awakening. What is it? What uh, are the things that facilitate it? And what are the things that we need to look out for that maybe stand in the way? And today, I want to talk to you about the idea as it is spoken about in Buddhism, the idea of heightened neuroses. My message title is Unhooking. And in a way, if you only leave with that word in your mind, if that's the thing that you hold on to and remember, it may very well be enough to carry with you the general concept of what I want to talk about today. I want to begin by posing an interesting question to you. Do you think that enlightenment, that enlightenment means the end of all neuroses, do you think that to be aware and awake means that you have eliminated all human hangups? Awakening does not mean that we achieve once and for all a perfectly a perfect state of compassion. It does not mean that we become infinitely generous in every possible situation. It does not mean that we are always perfectly patient, kind, and understanding, and wonderfully peaceful at our, all times. Becoming more aware, becoming kind and compassionate, actually is an experience that arises naturally as we witness, as we witness the chaos and the pain and the suffering and the difficulty in others, because in doing so, we help to see that in ourselves as well and be able to touch that and understand that in ourselves as well. It is critically important that we understand that our humanness does not simply dissolve when we become more awake. I really want you to hold that. We will continue to feel things. We will continue to feel, and in many ways, in a heightened way, our experiences, our thoughts, our feelings. They do not go away because we become more aware. They do not go away because we become more conscious. But what we will find is that everything that we are experiencing is just that. It is an experience. It is not the totality of us. And that is critically important. It's the ability when you notice, I feel angry right now. I feel sad. I feel upset. I'm afraid that instead of singularly identifying yourself with it, you don't ignore it, you are able to touch it. You are able to name it. Fear arising, sadness arising, anger arising. Being able to see it and touch it and name it is very different than singularly, pointedly identifying it, identifying with it. Can you feel the difference there? This is what it means to spiritually unhook. To spiritually unhook does not mean we go numb and dull and don't see or experience. It means that we see and experience from a very different state of awareness and consciousness. And this unhooking is incredibly powerful and incredibly freeing. So the process of awakening spiritually does not mean that we don't deal with our lives or that we don't feel our lives. We do deal with our lives and we do feel our lives. But it is done from a very different state of consciousness. It is done from a state in which we do not singularly ever identify with that which is arising. We can name it anger, fear, upset, joy, love, patience, faith, we can name it without being hooked by it. Thanks for listening. Sunday services at 9 and 11 a.m. Inclusivity. It's worth the drive. Subscribe to our podcasts and download our free app for instant access to a wealth of spiritual teachings, services, and events.